life, when we think about it, is and can be a beautiful experience. Our first existence is when we take our first breath, like breath of air. As we grow from day to day, we begin to experience something different almost daily. When we learn to talk, we become happy to know we can communicate, especially when we want something. Our first steps are exciting for us because we begin to feel a freedom we didn't have when we were carried everywhere. Then we go through an, our exploring time. We touch and examine everything we see around us. We even break and pull apart things to see how it, it works. We become fascinated with animals, especially if we can teach them tricks. Then we learn about the different colors and become fascinated with nature and all its colors. After a certain age, many of us become very curious about life and begin to search for answers as to where we came from, who are we, what, what is our purpose in life, and where are we going. Of course, there are many explanations. There's the scientific one that teaches about the universe, then the philosophical one, the religious one, and the simple one that teaches we were created by the creator of the universe with a free will. That's why we determine what we want to believe, how we want to live, and where we want to go. To resolve those questions, Jesus provided us with answers. In scriptures, he made it clear in John 14, 6, that he is the way, the truth, and the life. In other words, whatever we need or want, he can provide it. He even lets us know that life is a gift and said it in John 10:10, 10, 10, that he came to give us the gift of life and life in abundance. However, the choice is ours because God also said in scripture, Deuteronomy 30, 19, we have a choice between life and death, between blessings and curses. He would like us to choose life for ourselves and for our descendants. If we choose life in scriptures, Romans 10, 9 said, If you openly declare that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. What that means is we will receive the gift of life, which is eternal life. Since many of us die, Jesus knew he wouldn't understand what he meant by eternal life. Here's the answer. Romans 8, 11, the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, and just as God raised Christ from the dead, he will give life to your mortal bodies by the same Spirit living within you. The simple explanation has an offer that is quite difficult to refuse, because no one likes the idea of dying. Something that actually makes us think, life can and is a beautiful experience.